Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is a very exciting day for me because I'm going to head to a cave and in particular, this one. As you can tell, the server is just wiped. It's naked everywhere. I'm really looking forward to this wipe though, man. I love caves. At any point, if you guys do enjoy, I'd greatly appreciate a like or a sub. I upload every single Sunday, so if you're into weekly uploads and you know where to go. Not only that, I'm really wanting to hit 100k by the end of the year. I think that's a bit of a crazy goal. But I do believe we can do it with the help of you guys. You guys are awesome and you guys know that too. So yeah, if you do enjoy, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's get into the video. Craft ourselves a bow. Ooh. So yeah, I'm going to try and triple bunker this cave. I think that's going to be relatively easy. Depends what sort of cave it is. If it's a cave with a bucket drop down, I might be able to quadruple bunker. That would be sick. Oh, I'm actually seeing a stone node like half hit. I'm actually kind of worried that this is taken. Surely not, right? I think he was going to take it over. Oh my gosh. What kind of cave this is? Has it got the bucket? Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. We might be able to quadruple bunker this. How much materials do I have? Uh, okay. So we're going to have to try and build this as, like really close down to the floor. Just so we can squeeze through the first bunker. And how this first bunker works, if you guys are unaware, is you place a roof tile and it opens. This is why it needs to be close to the floor, because you could clip the rock. So this actually looks pretty perfect, so I'm happy with that. We'll destroy it for now. And this is where we need to think, because if you want to triple bunker it, we're going to have to start with a raised foundation, I think. And then go down to for the first bunker, yeah. Okay, that looks good. I think we're going to do a temporary temporary tool cupboard on here. Uh, we'll upgrade these. Like so. And we will make a... No, we won't make a wooden door. We'll have to farm up just a little bit more for that. Nice man, the cave is ours. It has been secured. That could have been bad. That I feel like that guy may have been <laughs> coming down here to claim this. But luckily we caught him. What I need to do, like right now, is head up to the top and just try and farm up as much as I can. Resources. And hope no one's camping up here. Because if they are, we will lose our cave. Okay, we're good. Someone's right above though. Oh no. Oh no. Send it down the hole. In fact, let me get this. Because we're greedy. Go! <laughs> Let's get down this wooden door. Yeah, they're coming down, dude. One guy's right there. Doors on. There's a few people outside, but at least we can call this little cave ours.
Okay, well, I'm gonna check that body I killed. I mean, pretty sure that his teammate looted him. Again, I don't know if they were all together either. Oh no. Didn't get looted, he only had a little bit of stuff on him though. Oh. No! Oh my. No! <laughs> Dude, I love that. <laughs> the quick escape. It just makes me laugh every time. <laughs> My cave was secure and I was feeling pretty good about how things were going. At the moment, I had a temporary place for my tool cupboard, but I wanted to change that. So I spent some time figuring out how I wanted my cave arranged. Oh, wait, no. I can't do the bunker here. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to redo this. Because, uh, yeah, the bunker won't work unless I have a foundation here and it will not fit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to redo this. Luckily, I have an idea of what I would do. That's not the end of the world. So let's make a new TC. And I guess basically start from scratch. So if we square this, this can be... I don't know. Anything. Couldn't be anything. We'll do the first bunker here. This should work absolutely fine now. Because, yeah, we can raise both sides. That's perfect. So here's our first bunker. Obviously our second bunker's here. Yep, okay. So it's gonna be like that. And we're gonna have a wall facing like this. Yeah. So just to check that these work, in fact, I need to wait to place a TC. So we'll have another wall here. You come through the front door. Down here. Up here. Down here. And up here. So the big question is, can I get a fourth bunker at this entrance? I'm not entirely too sure. I, I don't know if I can you know yeah it's it it's not gonna go is it now i could get a fourth bunker but i'd be sat here for hours having to get rid of all previous foundations too so i settled for three bunkers which is the most i've managed to squeeze into a cave base in rust so far so i was quite happy about that I'm thinking TC can go somewhere like really weird. I'm actually thinking about putting it in this, if I can get the angle. Thinking about doing something like that. I don't know why, it just seems cool. Or we could be boring and have it in like, in this corner or something. Oh wait, actually that could be really good. No, that's actually really good. Yeah, we should do that actually. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm not going to be able to quadruple bunker it. Oh, I think people can squeeze through that as well, but it won't lead to anything because I'm going to have like that, I suppose. Oh, people can't squeeze through it anyway. There we go. Yeah, I think I think we have the idea down. Nice. After all this time in the cave, I was slowly falling behind the competition in my area, so I figured I'd have to catch up. Oh, huge! I do want to get just one tree quickly though, if I can. Nice. 
Now we can get a wooden door on this side and we are officially closed in, in our little cave. There we go. Perfect. Okay. It is looted, but the recycler looks free. Okay, go, go, go. Got ourselves a metal door as well now, so if we can get home, place that down, we can keep the front bunker open. We finally won't have to drop down. Okay, let's see if we can get our stuff quickly. There we go. Nice. Nice dude. Yeah, that's a bit scuffed, but I think it's the best I could have done. I don't know. And we'll open up this. Nice. Nice man. Works perfectly. Now, in fact, I'm going to move my bag and... Add an airlock here. Just because. Wait, how could I forget? My body better still be here. Yeah, dude, the best item for caves. Harvest your body. Get yourself your skull. And then this is the way you tell if it's a night time above. So when you're down in the cave, you know, you have no, you have no time of day. You have no idea what it is up on the surface. So us little gremlins in here, you need these skull spikes. These will tell you whether it's day or night outside. If it's night time, they will glow. And if it's daytime, which it clearly is, they will not glow. So the next night cycle, I'll point it out and you will know exactly the difference. It is such a good item for living underground. Oh, perfect. When we get spare resources and stuff, we'll, uh, we'll make a fob on the land so we don't have to come down here every time we want a depot. I usually do that with my cave bases, so, I mean, it's only right. It's very, very helpful too. But there we go. Decent little farm run. Look at that. <laughs> Just going to get a little bit of wood. Then we can make a tier one. Make crossbows. Uh, I actually do need pipes. So maybe I'll look out for some road signs. Then we can make revolvers too. And, ah, huh, airfield drops look great. Good to know. Okay, let's craft another Fernie, a tier one, and a crossbow, and then we'll go... I'm thinking the satellite dish, maybe. I don't know. Or well, we could check out a supermarket. I mean, I do have quite a lot of options, to be fair. So yeah, let's see if these bunkers work, first of all. That one looks fine. Same with this one. Let's see. Perfect. Perfecto. I was about to say, I was about to say I really love some sort of peaks in the cave as well. And I think I've just come up with a nice, a nice couple peaks. Yeah, looking good.
Screw this. Oh, I'm getting chased. I'm actually getting chased. No. I think I need a nail gun. I think that's what I need. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> oh, huge. that miss <laughs> give me pipes oh gears you know I'll take gears nice now having a metal pipe I could craft a revolver and with this I'd feel much more confident heading into various monuments okay just scrap already. Nice. One more run like that and there's our tier two. Okay, hello. Don't know where you came from. Oh, but you have a green card for me. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back down into my cave. Class upgrade. Second upgrade. Nice. Killed the mushroom man. So hear me out. I was thinking of doing this. We can have one overhead storage box. I think it would be quite a nice little addition. Good use of space as well. And of course, Russ isn't going to let us place it. So it's probably going to have to be a barrel. Yeah, of course you can place a barrel. <laughs> not pay to win, not at all. No, no, no. Don't be silly. Yeah, there we go. Little over the overhead storage. Singular little box. They're glowing because it's night time, you see? And then I can be down here doing base work and as soon as they extinguish, I'll know when it's daytime and, you know, I can go out and explore. I guess I'll just place this spare box somewhere here. Yeah. All of our components and things of that nature can live up there for now. Looks good. No, oh, it's daytime. Caddy, how do you know that? How do you know that? There are no flames. <laughs> Heading to the surface, I hit some more barrels as I was extremely close to a tier 2 bench. This meant I could now roam with better gear and weapons, so I placed it down as soon as I could. I then decided it was the perfect time to begin my forward operating base. Yeah, let's go grab some upkeep and a bag and then yeah we have a fob which is really nice really happy about that perfect by the way this is probably my favorite single door in the game now it is so clean look at that thing it looks insane so this one will just have like weapons and then we'll do tools, some upkeep, nice. Oh yeah, and of course, healing. However, this is now the beauty of the fob. 
I could just walk up in a depot and yeah, just chill overnight. Let's go oh blue. Don't think I've ever used a blue colour. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty cool. Can I do that? Just nice. And we'll place the other one here. Let's upgrade a little bit of this. So what I was thinking here is we have a double door here. We can open it and close it. For example, if we are getting raided through here, which is very unlikely, we can open and close it and use it as a peek. Can't really do anything here. I mean, we could have another double door, but uh, I mean, in fact, I do have spare doors. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. And there we go. Don't know how effective this will be. I think it's a cool idea, to be fair. I do think I do like the idea of it. Oh my god, my brain doesn't work. I was coming up here, and obviously that was the first thing I saw, and in my brain I was like, no way someone's built right there. <laughs> Mate. That's not good. I need to get my I need to get my head checked out. I built that like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> And that was a, yeah, that was a four man, 100%. And a little two by two, okay. Keep that base in the back of your mind, as a great opportunity would soon show itself for some potential gains. Ignoring them for now though, I headed north of my base towards the snowy border. Oh my god, he DC'd, he DC'd. He's DC'd. This guy looted him, no? Yeah, he did. Hollow on a saw. What the flip? I'm gonna put it on. Oh, that's better. What the hell's man's chasing a bear? <laughs> Let me go investigate that. Sorry, dude. Perfect. Let's load all these bad boys back up. You'd love to see it. I don't think I've died this swipe, have I? Not just yet, which is uh, which is quite interesting. Quite an interesting achievement. It's been a pretty smooth, smooth wipe for sure. There we go. And I'm actually going to begin enclosing this a little bit and just getting everything sort of where it needs to be. So first of all, some wall frames. Actually, no. What does a window look? Actually, nah. Yeah, we'll leave it as a wall. There we go. This is feeling much like ho much, much more homely. That's sort of the word I'm looking for. Homely. Get a little bit more stone. 
Honestly, I think we just have this as honeycomb. Like that. Yeah, that is the one I was thinking, okay. Also upgrade that. There we go, that's looking pretty good. This needs to be upgraded as well. So that goes into honeycomb. That is also honeycomb. So yeah, this one is fully sheet metalled. I should probably do the roof. Because this is probably, if someone was to raid me, they will come this way, right? So. Dude, what is that Whiffington? There we go. I suppose he was by himself because he F1 killed pretty quick. Oh my... Gosh, no. Why are you so juiced? That's the most loaded kill I've got in a long time. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy. That was awesome. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my gosh. I love this part of the forest, but I hate it at the same time. Because I can escape like without being seen kind of easily if I'm fighting in that direction but anybody can just be you know hiding behind a tree at any time ready to jump me I have 800 leather wow that's a lot yep that's quite a lot I think that's the guy that lives there. That's my neighbor. Or one of them, because they do have a code lock on the top, which... Yeah, yeah, they have a code lock. So I'm assuming they're more than one. But this is a kit we can put in the fob, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna head to airfield, I think. More crates, more chances of gears. Tech trash, you know, for electricity in the future. Oh, there's actually crates here, nice. Shotgun trap, dude. That's huge. You don't even understand. And the reason that's huge is that we can place it at the first bunker underneath it. And basically it means if anyone tries to jump on it, it will shoot them through the twig, therefore breaking the twig and they're trapped in the front, you know? I'm not sure if that made much sense. I'm not very good at explaining stuff, but if I can get home with it, I'll show you exactly what I mean. That is huge. So let me just destroy this. So if I was just to place it like that, would it work? I don't actually know. I think I think it would. If I can place the... Yeah, I can place the roof. Okay, I'm going to do some testing. This should work. I think this is going to work. It's going to give me a jump scare. I'm ready. Oh, thick, dude. That is awesome. That's got me hyped. Yes. I love that so much. There we go. Nice. Oh, damn. It's quite a big fight as well.
What the flip is going on? <laughs> oh. Get a DB, yeah. Oh, Molotov! Yes! Yes! Also, that is an interesting raid. Because that was a three or four man earlier. You got stone foundations. Hmm. Hello, brother. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, no! After researching Molotov, I crafted a couple and headed to a 2x1 not too far from my base that had a wooden double door, so I went to test my luck. Okay, that should burn. I know how rust uh, I know how weird rust is when it comes to stuff like this. Ah, metal door, okay. Hmm. Ooh, 750 sulfur. Mate, this could be a decent raid. He's locked off. I I might. Oh, hmm. Uh. Where was that from? Oh, I see. Oh, sick. Oh, my neighbors have uh. Sars. That's good to know. Okay. These were my new neighbours, a duo. They wouldn't be too much trouble, but just know they weren't very friendly. I had a couple raids on my mind and wanted to do them before I logged for the night, but that would require sulphur, something I didn't have too much of, so I decided to farm a little. Yeah, there's not much sulphur anywhere, to be honest. Hello guys. Is this my neighbours? Yep. This is my neighbours. That is terrible timing. Yeah, good night. Got to sleep well today, eh? I know where you live, you bitch, with your fucking pants, you motherfucker. Wow! These guys are toxic. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of when people talk down on solo players. I had racked up a few DB so far this wipe, so I went to get some revenge. And once that was dealt with, I could think about raiding again. <laughs> bro, bro, I don't have a fucking thing. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> it's so goofy. Lovely. Our own little oil refinery. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> that feels so good considering they were so toxic to me a minute ago. And you gotta hit him with the goofy laugh. Just <laughs> makes it even funnier. In that goes. And back out we go.
Easy, you got crossbow. Easy, get fucked, bitch. Good night. Uh, good luck trying to sleep today, huh? Good luck, you bitch. We are six people, you bitch. We farm server 24 fucking seven. And you are solo, you don't have friends, you don't have family. Easy. Oh my god, that guy is such a bean. Perfect, there's a low grade. Sorted. Whilst this shenanigans was happening, I had smelted most of the sulphur, allowing me to craft 10 satchels. Enough to get through the stone foundation of the foreman, I saw towards the beginning of the wipe, so I headed over to do some inspections. Oh no, they don't have a loot room. They don't have a shelf in their TC room. Unless it's here, which it wouldn't be. Oh! Hang on, that's a loot room. Wait, hold up. Yeah, so this is a loot room. I think this is TC. Yeah, it is TC. Yeah. Okay, we have located TC. Oh, trying! Trying! These are really good satchels. Keep it up. Thank you. Dude, why are they broke? No. What happened? Dude, no, this is not what I was... Oh, no. Okay. Well, it's secure. I guess. I mean, no TC, obviously. Let me get rid of their bags, I suppose. And then we're going to come back with four satchels and... Man, I just hope that there's some more loot. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the reason I want to go into that next room, there's no scrap in there. There was no cloth. There was no leather. No metal or no sulf. Like... I don't know, man. I, I really think there's more to it. But if there's not, and I spend four more satchels and I get nothing, then I can't really blame anyone else but myself, can I? Get the backpack on. <laughs> Very nice. Four bags. Okay. Oh, that's not promising, though, is it? Here we go. Safe to say I was disappointed. I saw these guys enter their base with tier 2 guns earlier, so I assumed I'd at least get something, but I had to hold this big fat L. I knew this was the first of many raids this wipe, so I held my head high. Before logging off for the night, I wanted to finish the Molotov raid I began earlier. After seeing what I just did, I couldn't bear to log off to conclude day one with such a dire raid. But of course, I would need a little more sulfur. Sorry, dude. Oh, oh, you, I, literally, I think I shat myself when you fucking shot me. Like, I can't lie, I actually think I fucking shot myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You're a good guy. You're a good man out there, way. <laughs> Living here? This is the shit. Hell yeah. This is lit as fuck. Hell yeah. Shit's pretty gas. Oh.
okay. No, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yep, you have every right to spit at me. It's okay. I understand. Hey, this is the guy with the saw. Thank you for the loot. You heard that, right? Uh, let me try, let me try to get up. Come on, come on. Let me try. Let me try. And after even more shenanigans, the sulfur was smelting, therefore I had enough to finalize this raid. Oh my god, that was awesome. This was not a bad raid. I'll take that. No gears though, no gears. It got a battery. I was happy with this raid, much happier than my previous one. I got a battery which was extremely useful as tomorrow I wanted to have electricity in my cave and for this to work I need to charge a battery on land and bring it underground and as this battery has such a large capacity I could have electricity down under for a long time. And with that came the end of my wipe day. I did some final upgrades and then sealed all three bunkers ready for an action pack day ahead. Do I have upkeep? Yes I do. Love that. After unsealing my bunkers, I headed to the surface where something interesting caught my attention, which led to a lot of chaos. Just got deleted so fast. What the hell? This guy died right here. I rush, I rush, I rush. Uh, no way. Oh, there's nothing in them. No way! No! Oh shit. Oh my god! No! Hopefully nobody notices my dead body, then I have a saw on there. I don't know though, probably, they probably will notice it. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm just gonna leave that stashed. Hopefully it'll turn into a body bag in a minute. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. Okay, I don't really know the situation over there. I might go back one more time with DB, just because DB is quite fun to use. Oh, they took the ladders off. Oh. That wasn't bad. Definitely profited quite a bit. It wasn't how I was expecting my morning to begin, but I can't complain. I profited a row of tier 2 guns from this. I then headed towards airfield to try and get some tech trash for solar panels. Oh, there's a lock crate. Oh no, I did not even notice that. That was weird, how that guy just... Oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get any tech trash. However, I did get an airdrop, so I instantly ran that home. I then went on a small farm run to get my furnaces running for the day. Oh, this is the first time I've I've seen this side of the of the map, I suppose. Those guys got raided. Wow, okay. Deservedly so, to be fair, but... I transferred a spare tier 2 and my large battery into my fob, and then headed towards Satellite Dish to try and farm some gears for a vending machine. I wanted to sell diesel and my spare tier 2s for sulphur to do more raids. Oh, I wonder if that guy just saw me. I think that was him. I think he just has he baited. Let me see. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice. Yes, small gears. Nice. I'll go back home with this in a minute. Oh my lord. Huge, 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 huge. I headed back down into my cave to get the diesel and tier 2 I was talking about, along with some materials. I wanted to expand my fob to make space for the vending machine and call in my airdrop, as defending this from a 2 by one would be extremely difficult. Oh. thousand five hundred and we'll do we'll do fifteen eight fifteen HQM Will that battery give us tech trash? Yes one tech trash that's enough
With my battery now charging, it was only a matter of time before I could take it into my cave and set up electric furnaces, smelting all my sulfur. In the meantime, I called in my airdrop. God, this is where it's really awkward. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, there's no way that people can get past this. Surely not. Nice, that works. Some time had passed and I was ready to set up some electric furnaces down in my secure cave. How much charge do I have? Two hours. That is just enough time to get through all this sulfur, probably. And more. Sulfur was now steadily smelting. I of course needed to wait, so I began exploring around the area and the map. No! <laughs> I think I just saw him. Oh my god. He is juiced. Oh, let's craft the repair bench. This skin is horrible. Why does he have an RPG? Oh, he didn't. I thought the mace was a was a rocket launcher, dude. Oh my god, what is this area? What is going on? Oh. Wow, really? Oh my god. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna have to skin this all up though, of course. Can't be rocking like multicolored kit, yuck. There we go. 
I now had enough sulfur and satchels to go through a couple of doors. On my adventures, I had seen a 2x1 with a tier 2 behind the first door. This was a raid I knew I wanted to do, so gathering what I needed, I headed towards it. someone Through, man. Oh, there's not even enough for another TC. Oh, my. How is there not enough for another TC, dude? 29 wood. Oh, my God. That isn't good. Raid was decent, though. Damn. Damn. That terrified me. I won't lie. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I don't know if I can leave yet, though. Probably not. This was a W raid. Probably my best raid in a long time, especially for only eight satchels. I know, like, some of this was from the three counters, but... This was a good raid. I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. For eight satchels, this was an incredible raid. When I got home, I upgraded everything to sheet metal and then decided to go on one final roam with my AK to conclude this amazing solo cave wipe. My area is just cringe roof campers. That group roof camps. And so does the group over there. The ones that were getting raided this morning when I first got on, they roof camp. Oh, he's on his roof. There's nothing but roof campers on this server. Sign of life! A naked! Another naked! Happens! I recognise that name from earlier. What's he doing all the way out here? Wait, there's so many of them, I just realised. Oh, God. There's loads of them. Oh god, I might die. I think I might die.
What a surprise in the roof, dude. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not playing, man. In the roof. I, to be honest, that's all I got up to this wipe. I had a blast and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you next Sunday for another Rust adventure.